Hello, boys and girls. I'm Miss Dara. Are you ready to sing some buggy songs with me today about all different kinds of bugs? Big bugs, little bugs. Let's warm up first. Let's shake, shake, shake our hands. Can you do that for the first verse? Show me how you wiggle your fingers. Can you pretend your fingers are little bugs crawling all around? Get ready, get set. Wiggle your fingers. Get ready, get set. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It makes a happy feeling when we all wiggle together. Get ready, get set. Wiggle. All right. Let's do a little jumping like the grasshoppers do. Get ready, get set. Get ready, get set, now sit still. It makes a happy feeling when we all sit together. It makes a happy feeling when we all share together. It makes a happy feeling when we all sing together. Get ready, get set, sing. Good job. Are your hands all nice and warmed up now? We're going to sing about big bugs and little bugs. Can you make your arms show? Oh, I hope I never find a bug that big in real life. Can you show me a big bug, little bug, big bug, little bug? See them crawl up the wall. Let's try that. Big bugs, little bugs, big bugs, little bugs, see them crawl up the wall, crawling over this way, crawling over that way, crawl bugs, crawl, crawl bugs, crawl. How about flying bugs? Can you make your fingers fly? What kind of bugs fly up in the sky? Big bugs, little bugs, big bugs, little bugs, see them fly away. Our first story today is called I Love Bugs, and it's by Emma Dodd. I love all bugs, big and small bugs. I love springy, jumpy, leapy bugs, and slimy, crawly, creepy bugs. I love hard, spiky, spiny bugs and pretty, spotty, shiny bugs. I love fuzzy, sunny honey bugs and furry, worry, funny bugs. I love brightly colored wing bugs and stripey, swipey sting bugs. I love whiny, buzzy sound bugs and glide across the ground bugs. I love flouncy, frilly, flutter bugs and silly, clitter, clutter bugs. I love fly around the light bugs and curl up tight bugs.
Yes, I love all bugs. Hop and fly and crawl bugs. But the best bugs are hairy bugs. Eight legged scary bugs. The hang from the ceiling bugs. And send me squealing bugs. And that's the story called I Love Bugs. I have one of my best bugs here. Maybe one of my favorite bugs. It's a ladybug with spotty red wings. They like to fly, they like to crawl, and they're the best bugs to have around when you wanna have a picnic because they just set up their little picnic blanket alongside you. They play games, they bring their own food. They're very easy bugs. They just leave all the people alone. They don't bite, they don't sting. Who could ask for a better bug than that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ladybugs came to the ladybugs picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they all played games at the ladybugs picnic. They had twelve sacks of the ransack races. It fell on their backs, fell on their faces. Ladybugs twelve at the ladybugs picnic. So they just sat around telling knock knock jokes. Ladybugs 12 at the Ladybugs picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ladybugs came to the Ladybugs picnic. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they chattered away at the Ladybugs picnic. They talked about the high price of furniture and rugs and fire insurance for ladybugs. Ladybugs 12 at the ladybugs picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ladybugs came to the ladybugs picnic. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your children are playing. Where have they gone? They've gone to the playground to go for a ride. Ladybug, ladybug, go down the slide. Well, when I have a picnic, there's another bug that comes around. You might see him on the table behind me. He is not one of my best bugs. Can you see what kind of bug this is? It's an ant. And they come uninvited to my picnic. They crawl all over my peanut sandwich, peanut butter sandwich. They leave little ant footprints in there. Yuck, they go marching. Once one comes by, another one figures it out. And suddenly there's hundreds and hundreds of ants at my picnic. You know this song, it's the ants go marching. We're going to count from one ant up to five. And that's more than enough ants for my picnic today. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little one stop to wiggle his thumb and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. Stop.
another bug, the ants come marching on the ground, and this one comes flying from up above. In fact, it likes to fly so much that they named it after what it does. It's a fly. It goes flying around. Sometimes they get in my house, especially if you leave the door open for too long. They look for the opportunity and they fly in and they land on my counter and they go landing on the sugar bowl. That's their favorite. Well, I have a secret weapon against flies, though. I don't have to just shoo them away. Got something else I can use. Oh, let me go. Here it is. Do you know what this is? It is. It's a fly swatter. And I wait for that fly to come in view. And oh, there it is. I go. Oh, got him. Do you have a fly swatter at home? It works. I used to have a cat fly swatter. It was an actual cat. My cat Jack, he used to go after the flies. He'd sit and he'd wait and when a fly got close enough he'd jump up and gobble him down. But Jack's not around much anymore so we use the fly swatter and we can just shoo those flies away. Any flies by you these days? Would you like to shoo them away? Shoo fly, don't bother me. Shoo fly, don't bother me. Shoo fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. What else can we shoo away? Oh, I know. How about a mosquito? Ah, oh, I don't like the mosquitoes when they bite me. Oh, they leave my arm all itchy. Let's shoo those mosquitoes away. Shoo mosquito, don't bother me. Shoo mosquito, don't bother me. Shoo mosquito, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Is there another bug we can shoo away? Oh, how about a bee? I don't like them near me, right? We have to be very careful that they won't sting us. We can't shoot too energetically. Let's try it. Shoo be, don't bother me. Shoo be, don't bother me. Shoo be, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Do you have a pet at home? Maybe a dog or a cat, maybe some other kind of pet. Well, I have two kitties, and one of the things I don't want coming inside my house are fleas. That's right, 
So if you have a cat or a dog, you may know about fleas. We are going to do a flea tickle right now because those are my favorite kinds of fleas, imaginary ones. So take your fingers, these are your flea fingers, and the flea is gonna give you a tickle. He's going to start all the way down on your toe and work his way up to your head and then back down again. You ready to try that with me? Let's try it. Take your fingers, here we go. On my toe there is a flea, now he's climbing on my knee. Past my tummy, past my nose, on my head where my hair grows. Oh, I don't want him there, do you? No. On my head there is a flea, now he's climbing down on me. Past my tummy, past my knee, to my toe. Take that, you flea. Oh, I got flea guts on my shoe. Yuck. Did you get your flea? Let's try it one more time. We need another pretend flea. Okay, let me get one from my pocket here. Oh, there he is. Do you have a pretend flea in your pocket? Oh, this one's pretty. I, I hate that I'm going to step on him, but he's, he's kind of pink with orange polka dots. What color is your flea? Nice. All right, let's put him on our other toe. Are you ready? Here we go. On my toe there is a flea. Now he's climbing on my knee. Past my tummy, past my nose, on my head where my hair grows. On my head there is a flea, now he's climbing down on me. Past my tummy, past my knee, to my toe. Take that, you flea. I got him. Did you get your flea? Good, no more fleas by us. I have a nice gentle bug right over here. He flies in the sky at night and his back lights up in the sky. It's a firefly or a lightning bug. Which one do you call it? Firefly or lightning bug? When I was little, we used to catch fireflies just like this. And we'd put them in a jar. We'd poke holes in top so they'd get lots of air. And we'd watch them twinkle at night. And whenever we were outside watching fireworks, we'd see our own fireworks show out on the lawn, the lightning bugs would be flashing their own lights on and off and twinkling in the nighttime sky. Can you flash your lights on and off and pretend you're a firefly? Twinkle, twinkle, firefly, flying in the evening sky. ways to catch a firefly is to use a little bud net like this and swoop it up and catch those fireflies and then put them in the jar but let them go afterwards they can't stay in there too long they don't stay all that happy catch a bug and watch it glow watch it glow watch it glow
get by and fireflies. There's another bug right behind my shoulder. This one I have some mixed feelings about. Let me show you and see if you know what he is. Do you know what this is? It is. It's a bumblebee. Bzzz. Now, I don't like the bumblebees getting all that close to me. That's why we were shooing them away just a little while ago. But there is one thing I really like about bees. Do you know what that is? They give us something special. They give us honey. I have my little honey bear jar over here and I can put some honey on my toast or in my yogurt or in my breakfast cereal and that all comes from the bees. They make honey inside their hive. That's where they live. They work very hard. So can you get your two little bee fingers like I have? And if you have a grown-up nearby, maybe they can do this for you because we're going to do a little bee tickle and you have to listen to the words and that's where the bee is going to land on you. Bumblebee, bumblebee, landing on my nose. Oh, there he goes. Bumblebee, bumblebee, now he's on my toes. Oh, can you put him on your toes? On my arm. On my leg, on my elbow. Where's your elbow? Yeah, how about I put a bee right over there? Bumblebee on my knee. He lands and then he goes. Bye bye, Bumblebee. And he's going back home to his hive. Have you ever found a beehive? Maybe somewhere in the woods, maybe somewhere in your backyard. Well, we know we should never touch a beehive, even if it looks like there's nobody inside because those bees are hiding. Can you make a fist with your hand? And let's pretend that's our beehive. Here is the beehive. Where are the bees? Hiding inside where nobody sees. Will they come out, out from the hive? Here they come. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Can you buzz like a bumblebee? Bzzz. Good job. They come out in the early morning. They love landing on the flowers, getting some pollen so they can make some honey. sing about any bug without giving a nod to one of the most famous bugs of all. It's a spider. A spider spins a web. I know you've seen spider webs outside in your yard, right? Do you know the song about the itsy bitsy spider? I think you do too. Can you get your spider fingers out? And let's sing that song together. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up. Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. And can you see what's on my finger? It's a little caterpillar. It's a puppet. 
I made him at home. You can make him at home, in fact, if you happen to have an old glove. I cut the fingers off and I just glued some pom-poms on there with the hot glue gun. That's a grown-up thing to do. Some googly eyes and a little piece of pipe cleaner. In fact, since gloves have five fingers, you could make five caterpillar puppets and you could have them crawl around. Now, if you don't happen to have any old gloves at home, don't use woolen ones, use nylon ones um, that you may find at a thrift store. But if you don't have one of those, what you can do is take a clothespin, if you have any of those, and Elmer's glue all the little pom-poms on there with the googly eyes, and you can have a little caterpillar that way. Now, right now, we don't happen to have any caterpillars handy, but if you can take your finger and wiggle it, we'll make it, our fingers be caterpillars crawling all around. Caterpillar, caterpillar, on the wall, on the wall. First you wiggle this way, then you wiggle that way. Crawl, 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 crawl. Caterpillar, caterpillar, on the wall, on the wall. First you wiggle this way. caterpillars like to eat? Do you know? I think lots of leaves and maybe just about anything. They enjoy eating lots of different things. What do caterpillars do? Nothing much but I have a slightly bigger version of my little caterpillar puppet. Now it's easier for you to see. This is a very famous caterpillar. Do you know who he is? He's a very hungry caterpillar. And that's the story we're going to read today also. It's by Eric Carl, and it looks like this. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big 
fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Just like the butterfly that I have over here. Here's my butterfly, started out as a very hungry caterpillar, ended up as a butterfly. Now, I have a very good friend by the name of Arabella Miller, and she had the most unusual pet. Let me tell you about it. Little Arabella Miller had a tiny caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. They said, Arabella Miller, put away that caterpillar. <gasps> Arabella Miller was so upset, nobody liked her pet caterpillar. So she got an old mayonnaise jar like the one I used for my fireflies. She took off the cover and she plopped her caterpillar whoop, right inside the jar. She put the top on, poked some holes in it, and put some tiny little blades of grass and a few sprinkles of water inside. And she took the jar with her caterpillar, she put it up on her bedroom shelf, and then she went away to summer camp for two weeks and forgot all about her caterpillar. Well, when she got home two weeks later, she walked in her room and saw the jar sitting on the bookshelf and she said, oh no, my caterpillar, I forgot all about him. So she grabbed the jar and she looked inside and she shook it, no caterpillar. She opened up the lid and something flew out of the jar. Can you guess what it was? It was a butterfly. While she had gone to camp, Arabella Miller's caterpillar spun a cocoon and came out as a beautiful butterfly. And that butterfly flew around her room and out her window and into her mother's garden. And then everybody decided that that was a very nice pet for Arabella Miller to have. Little Arabella Miller had a tiny caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. They said, Because it wasn't a caterpillar any longer. It was a butterfly. Well, I showed you how you could make a caterpillar puppet at home with a finger from a glove or a clothespin. Let me show you how you can make a little butterfly at home. And it looks like this. This is made out of one of those clothespins and a coffee filter. All you need to do, these are one of the round coffee filters and I flattened it out and then you can paint it. I used watercolor or you can use food coloring diluted with water in a little spritz bottle and spray it on until it looks something like that. You can make your own design. And then you want to turn it into a fan shape. Do you know how to do that? You fold it back and forth like a fan. Maybe you can ask a grown-up to help you do that. And then you're going to scrunch it down in the middle. 
so it looks a little bit like a bow tie. And if you have a clothespin, you can clip it just like that. Now, if you don't have a clothespin, you could use a pipe cleaner in the middle and give it some antennas, or maybe even a twist tie in the middle, and you can make a butterfly at home. So while we do the next song, song I think I'll be a butterfly today. How's that? And if you watch this and have a chance to make a butterfly beforehand, you can bring your butterfly over and make him fly through the sky. Butterfly, butterfly, over the fields of clover, butterfly, butterfly. Over and over and over, butterfly, me oh my, when you gonna let me come over, butterfly, way up high, over the fields of clover, butterfly, butterfly, such a lackadaisical creature, once a crawling caterpillar, you're a double feature. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, floating in the summer sky, floating by your thumbs together and wiggle the rest of your fingers those are your wings and you can stand up do you know the song about teddy bear teddy bear turn around well we'll do butterfly butterfly turn around butterfly butterfly turn around butterfly butterfly touch the ground butterfly Butterfly landing on my nose Butterfly, butterfly, tickle your toes Butterfly, butterfly, flutter up and down Butterfly, butterfly, circle all around Butterfly, butterfly, fly up high Butterfly, butterfly, wave good. Butterflies go up and down, fluttering above the ground. Butterflies soar through the sky. Someday, baby, you will fly. Crickets chirp the whole night through, playing songs for me and you. It's calling wing to wing. Someday, baby, you will sing. Close your little eyes. Sleep until you dream. Someday you I'll see you next time.